It's been proven that people are happier, they have less depression, and they have better health when they live on a tree-lined street. It's 120 trees total that we planted here. Right, okay. <laughs> we have three main focus areas, and those are litter prevention, waste reduction, then community greening and beautification through tree planting. Right now, we're doing a, a project called Canker Worm Prevention, and we do this by banding trees. You want to have an even application? We have canker worm moths, and the females are wingless, and so they climb up the tree, they eat the leaves of the trees, so we're going to intercept them as they're climbing up the tree and get them stuck on this sticky band. We work with over 2,000 volunteers each year. We've been tracking those individuals through Excel spreadsheets, sometimes notes on a piece of paper. It's been a little bit haphazard, and as we've been growing the number of individuals that we've been working with, it's become a little bit unwieldy. We recently worked with the Duke Interdisciplinary Studies Program, the DISI program, and they were helping consult on a volunteer management software for us. They came to us because they wanted to improve their efficiency. We researched recommendations on different softwares that could improve their day-to-day -day workflow. We've been so excited to work with this program at Duke University. They provided a service that we did not have time to do. A much more streamlined approach to managing our volunteers, ultimately much more cost-effective than what we've been doing. We've gotten to know the students, we've learned their skills and their expertise. We have one student from the Pratt School of Engineering, two Fuqua students, two from the Nicholas School of Environment, and then two Sanford students. They delved right in and did all the research. It felt like we were working with a professional consulting firm when we got to work with them. It's a win-win-win for us. 